Tough. Thank you, Dave. When the season began, nobody predicted the Flames would make it into the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, especially this guy. So despite last <laughs> night's overtime loss in Game 5, the Flames should be commended for what was a wild and arguably very successful season. Eric oh. Francis from Jack of M Sportsnet, the Calgary Sun, putting a wrap on the season. Um, you were saying, Ted, I need you to set me up by talking about specific <laughs> moments during the playoff series, right? Mm -hmm. And there were a bunch of them, but there's one that really stood out for you. Yeah, like a season of wonderful memories for Flames yeah. fans. But uh, after Game 4 on Friday night when they lost here and they were going back to Anaheim for Game 5, those people who were still in the crowd for the final you know, buzzer, and I'd say about three-quarters of the crowd was still there, uh, they stood up and they gave an applause to the team. Now, ideally, the team would have done their center ice salute, yeah. but you don't do that after you lose a game. But it was almost like everyone in the stadium knew they're not coming back. Yeah. This is the last. Uh, this is the last we're going to see this team. But what an incredible season it was, and we want to thank them and applaud them. And I, I bet you everybody there who did it just is glad they did it because yeah. there's really no venue now to say thank you to this team like they had that night at the end of that game. And I just thought it was very stirring, and it wasn't, didn't last long because the players were off the ice very quickly. Sure. Because they were disappointed at the loss, because they still felt that they could win the game. And I think Flames fans. Had a glimmer of hope too, and and hey, they hung in that game last night. They hung in that series, even though I would argue that in all the five games, they were never the better team. No, maybe one period agree. here or there, but every, yeah. on the whole, they were in over their heads. But you said arguably a very successful season. There's no argument. Yeah. True. This was an incredible season by any standards possible. Yeah, okay. A, a lot of players stand out. I mean, a heck of a season for uh, the starting line, the, the number one line, the Monaghan, Goudreau, yeah. uh, Yuri Hoodler. Hoodler line, yeah. heck of a line. The defenseman really stepped up, especially with Mark Giordano going down. Do you think, though, um, what was a blessing for the Flames with respect to their team having so much inexperience and not getting freaked out by the playoffs mm -hmm. kind of bit them in the end? I'm talking about those... Two late second period penalties, Joe Coburn and uh, like last night Michael Backer. I think in both those cases, yeah. you know, I have a real hard time criticizing Joe Coburn sure, for his sure. penalty because they're always asking him with that big body of his to play uh, a more rugged style game, and he yeah. was doing that he was brilliantly. Trying, trying to push Bochman down, that's what he was doing. That's right? all yeah. he was trying. He, yeah. You know, he was just—it was a reaction. It was a split yeah. second, and it was—it's a result of playing a very rugged game. Yeah. So he responded to the, what they wanted him to do. And then, you know, of course, the Michael Backlund one, that was just a straight penalty that, yeah. you know, it's an unfortunate call. Yeah, those are two key penalties. But that's not what people need to remember at no. the end of this year. The game before, Joe Colburn was the best player on the edge. I would, yeah, I agree and, with you. And, that. And, and Johnny Gaudreau as well. And Johnny Gaudreau also had that gaffe that yeah. I think they showed. Um, you know, this is away, just yeah. young guys yeah. making mistakes. But Bob Harley all year long said, we encourage our guys to go out there and make plays which means making mistakes. Yeah. Don't be safe. You know, the way they played their game, the way their defense was always up in the offense, and that was their key all year long. Of course. Um, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get caught. You're yeah. going to look bad at times. But that's kind of the beauty of what they did all year. Yeah. They took chances, and they paid off a whole lot more than anyone thought, including me. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Where do we go from here? I mean, there's a lot of positives, right, to come out of this? This team is going to be compared for the next three months to the Colorado Avalanche of last year. Okay. Colorado came out of nowhere, made the playoffs two years ago. This year, disappeared. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and I will. So people in the hockey world, I already hear it. They're saying, "Well, the Flames will probably be just like Colorado. They won't be seen in the playoffs next year." I vehemently disagree. Now I'm on the play uh, the playoff train. Okay. Yeah. And I, I see no reason why. I don't think they're going to win division titles anytime sure. soon. But I think they're now, you know, they are getting as deep as any team yeah. uh, in that mix for that last playoff spot. Moving forward, Monaghan's only going to get better. Sam Bennett yeah. is going to be a very big star in no this kidding, National yeah. Hockey League. John, I, he may end up being the best player that they have on their mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. People are in love with Michael Furland. He can't play that game all year long, but uh, he's a nice addition. Lance Boma. I just want to know how they're going to pay all these guys because <laughs> every guy in that roster had a career year. Yeah, no kidding. And man. whether his contract's up this year, next year, yeah, um, they, they are going to have to make some tough moves. Though I don't expect to see Michael Backlund back next year. Okay. I think they'll trade him, and uh, even though he was very, very good, they're just running out of room down the middle. Yeah. And goalie-wise, I don't think you're going to see Kari Rommel back. Really? Even though he was a, a big part of their success this year as well, um, they're very deep in goalie. I think he's going to be looking for a very big payday. He's an unrestricted free agent. And I'll make a very bold prediction right now. It's, it's kind of a shot in the dark. Yeah. Kari Ramo next year, starting goaltender for your Edmonton Oilers.
Really? Yeah, I don't I don't want to make anybody upset. It's it's just that there aren't many teams that need a starting goalie. Kari Ramo could be that guy. Edmonton Oilers need a starting goalie more than anybody else. Yeah. He needs a pay raise. They're willing there to pay. There I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry to uh, upset anybody, but I can't upset anybody more than the snow has. Yeah, there you go. Eric Francis from Jack FM Sportsnet, the Calgary Sun. Thank you so much for your take Thanks. on this.